We're all lucky enough to live on a beautiful planet. Whether built by nature or built by human hands, there are areas of our world that are truly spectacular to look at and have to be seen to be believed. Not everyone gets to travel to every corner of the world to see these amazing sights, so today, we're going to bring some of the most incredible real-world locations that exist right here in this video. Sometimes a basic description is enough to give you a feel for what you might find at a location. The people of Australia refer to these incredible rock formations in their homeland as the Wonderful Cliffs, and we couldn't agree more with that description. Found in Flinders Chase National Park, these beautiful, brightly colored lumps of rock are indeed wonderful. They're the result of gigantic boulders being shaped and carved by wind and rain over the passage of 500 million years. They're an impressive sight to see at any time of the day, but to get the best out of them, you should pay a visit either at sunrise or at sunset, where the light adds a touch of drama to the spectacle. The bluish tones in the rock are quartz, which stands out from the red and pink shades of granite. Local tourism officials are well aware of the popularity of this spot with sightseers, and so they've helpfully provided a wooden bridge to help people reach the cliffs without the risk of a painful plunge onto the pebbles below. Eggenberg Channel in Austria is every bit as stunning as it is scary. There's no doubt that it's a beautiful location but you have to try to forget what you're looking at if you really want to enjoy the scenery. The whole structure is made of human bones. Not everybody is comfortable with the idea of using human remains to make art, but it's impossible not to appreciate the skill with which this skull cavern was crafted. Dating back to the 14th century, it's said that the skeletons from as many as 6,000 people have been used to create this highly unusual attraction. A pile of skulls serves as the centerpiece with arm and leg bones fanning out around them to make perfectly symmetrical circles and lines. The bones are so well preserved because they're at the bottom of a pit, but these days they're still behind a glass screen to ensure they're protected for future generations to come and see. You may have heard Azerbaijan referred to as the land of fire, and it's locations like Yanar Dag in Baku that are responsible for that fearsome nickname. As was first noted by Marco Polo in the 13th century, this is a land upon which eternal flames burn and never fade. Places like Yanar Dag terrified human settlers 2,000 years ago and are thought to have played a part in the founding of the fire-worshipping faith of Zoroastrianism. There used to be more sites like this, all of which were fueled by Azerbaijan's phenomenal natural gas reserves. Many of the fires died out when humans began to exploit those reserves, but Yanar Dog refuses to perish. It's believed that a local farmer started this particular fire by accident when he threw away a lit cigarette during the 1950s and the 30-foot-long wall of fire has been burning ever since. If left undisturbed, it could continue to burn for centuries. A tea house has been established nearby so visitors can enjoy the fire in comfort. Anybody who wants to come and visit the ice sculptures at Point Warrenzoff in Alaska better make their travel plans soon. They're slowly being worn away by the wind and the rain that batters their inhospitable location. Every sculpture at the site, of which there are more than 100, is the work of artist Sarah Davies and her team. The work is part of a project called 100 Stone, which was erected in 2015 and is designed to raise awareness of physical and mental disabilities and illnesses in humans. According to Sarah, each sculpture was designed by someone suffering from physical or emotional problems, and so very individual pieces tell somebody's story. They're somber monuments, appearing to show human figures afraid and alone, exposed to the elements. Although the subject matter is a little sad, there's also an air of defiance about the artwork which is tangible to anyone who lays eyes on it. 100 Stone is definitely haunting, but it also conveys a message about perseverance in the face of hardship. 
Everybody knows that some of the most beautiful beaches in the whole world can be found in the Bahamas. And when we say everyone, we include pigs. You won't find any humans living on the unspoiled island of Big Major K, so that means that the swimming pigs who call the land their home have been left to enjoy their existence free of interference. They're happy to welcome visitors though, especially if those visitors bring a little food along with them as a greeting. The nearby Fowl K Resort organizes special boat trips so people can come and take a closer look at these hogs living their best life. But you should take care not to get too close. The pigs will often swim out into the water to greet boats as they approach. And if you get within range of them, they'll hop up onto your vessel and raid your entire food supply. Nobody knows how the pigs got here in the first place, although some believe that they might have been the only survivors of a shipwreck. Tirta Ganga in Indonesia is a place so pretty that they built it twice. The first incarnation of this scenic water palace was constructed in the late 1940s when the location was under Dutch colonial rule. It was a labor of love from the last ever Raja of Karangasam, who took a personal interest in the palace's development and even pitched in with some of the building work himself. Tragically, the nearby volcano, Mount Agung, erupted in 1963 and did away with all the Raja's hard work, burying the plants and trees under volcanic ash as the tremors from the eruption shattered the stonework. It wasn't until 1979 that restoration work began, and it was the Raja's own grandson who took control of the project. Now, we're pleased to say that Tirta Ganga has been restored to its former glory. It's a faithful reconstruction of the original water temple based on the Raja's designs. But if anything, it's even more beautiful than it was before. The imposing towers of Darawar Fort look like a work of art, but that's not what they were first designed to be. It was populated by soldiers and was a military stronghold for centuries. We can thank the arid conditions of the desert for the fact that the fort is still so well preserved today. Looking at it, it's hard to believe it's been standing here since the 9th century. There was a rebuilding project during the 1700s, but the majority of the fort is still original and over a thousand years old. The fort contains 40 different bastions, each of which is 100 feet high. Common sense might tell you that this would be a harder site to defend than a traditional walled castle, but it survived all this time without being destroyed. So who are we to argue with the designers? Nowadays, it's the private property of the Abbasi family who use part of this site as a necropolis for their relatives. Not every wonder has to be ancient or artistic. Sometimes they can be loud and brash. That's the feeling you get when you first see God's own junkyard in London. And it's a location that can leave you on the verge of complete sensory overload. Perhaps the best way to describe this strange place is a neon wonderland. The site is a cross between a museum and a labyrinth, almost like a condensed version of the famous strip of Las Vegas condensed into a single warehouse. It's treated like an art gallery, meaning that it's free for the public to enter and take a trip around, but it doubles as a neon art trader's haven. There are literally thousands of signs at the site, which has proven popular with modern age Instagram influencers looking for a perfect location for an eye-catching photo shoot. Some of the signs come from casinos, some come from all-night bars, and others come from long-forgotten nightclubs. There's even some light-up religious iconography at the junkyard, which lends an air of the surreal to the proceedings. We could say that the Noah Purifoy Desert Art Museum in Joshua Tree, California continues the junkyard theme we began with God's own junkyard. That wouldn't really be fair, though. The Desert Art Museum may have a slightly ramshackle appearance, but it isn't a junkyard. It's an environmental sculpture exhibition. Purifoy himself designed and built every piece at the site, which was assembled between the years of 1989 and 2004. Every scrap of material he used to make the statues and installations was either donated or thrown away. So some of his most used materials include blown out tires from cars, fire damaged steel and wood, and fragments of glass. There are even fast food wrappers used as decoration on some of Noah's works, which add to the recycled theme. 
Many of the pieces contain a social or political message, but there are also personal statements here too. The sculpture known as Shelter was made from the burnt wooden framework of his neighbor's home after it was destroyed in a fire. No maintenance work is ever performed at the site according to Noah's own vision. The erosive effect of nature on his work is all part of the plan. There's a good reason that the grottos of an old mine near Saafeld in Germany are known as the Saafeld Fairy Grottos. And it's that when you look upon them, you'll be convinced that they must be the home of ethereal, otherworldly creatures. The caves are so beautiful that back in 1993, the Guinness Book of World Records created a brand new category just for them. They're officially recognized as the world's most colorful cave grottos. No other cave or grotto in the world has ever tried to challenge that ranking, and we doubt that one ever will. The site consists of three main chambers, each of which has been connected by a gallery to provide visitors with more information about the site. There, you'll find out all about the history of the old alum shale mine that operated here from the 16th century through the 19th, and how the radiation used inside the mine may have affected the rock formations. The undoubted highlight is the third chamber, which is the fairy grotto from which the whole place gets its name. Norway contains one of the most unusual and outstanding photo opportunity spots in the whole world. But only if you're brave enough to climb a mountain to reach it, and then stand upon it for long enough for the photo to be taken. This is Kira Bolton, which is a happy accident of nature. A boulder has fallen from the Kirag mountain and become completely wedged in a crevasse. It's stuck fast and is perfectly safe to stand on, but knowing that and convincing yourself to set foot on it are two different things. The boulder is large, with a surface area of 15 cubic feet and is balanced above a 3,000 foot drop into an abyss. Amazingly, it's become a popular spot with base jumpers who are happy to throw themselves off the boulder and parachute all the way down for the ultimate thrill experience. The route up the mountain to the boulder is reasonably easy even for climbers who lack experience, but it's recommended that children don't attempt it. If we said the word palace to you, you'd probably picture a building similar to Buckingham Palace in London, which is where the Queen of England lives. Not all palaces are so opulent or traditional, though. Take our world palace in Germany, for example, which is an all-natural palace made entirely out of trees. Architect Marcel Calber and his team created the Palace Palace by binding saplings together and encouraging them to grow into specific shapes, thereby creating this impressive space with its leafy cathedral-like dome. They started work in 1998, but as the Palace Palace has now been standing for more than 20 years, it looks like it was grown by nature. Calberer took inspiration from the ancient builders of Mesopotamia who made their homes by binding reeds together. Each year, the Palace Palace hosts the Our World Festival, which is a moon dance party featuring music, drinking, dancing, and lessons on how you can use the techniques demonstrated at the site to build your own mini tree palace at home. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.